today we are going to see the problem which I am getting for glibc installation Okay, so uh, here I'm getting some error for glibc and uh, some other libraries. So we'll see today why this error is coming and how to resolve that error. This is my exe. Whenever I'm typing hvtrans, I'm getting a glibc xx 3.4.15 is not available and there is one more another error is glibc 2.40 not found we have to install first the gcc so let's check what is our current gcc version so you can see it's a, a compiler based uh, gcc so the latest version should be 9.2 when i am recording this video so i have downloaded it uh, and i'll give you the link also to download the same and you'll have to download a prerequisite is also so you can use wget also or cul if you have uh, active internet on your HPC server So uh, you can see here uh, I have downloaded this GCC 2.9.2.0 tar.gz and there is another version for glibc also. So you can use uh, 2.14.1 for this error also or 2.14. So I have currently untarred it for 2.14. You can uh, use any of the versions where you are getting that error uh, actually I have 2.17 as well but it's it was not working with uh, uh, the environment so I downgraded it to 2.14 again so uh, I'm if you know how to untar then you can skip and I'm showing you how to untar it hyphen xzvf and then this is the command whenever you type so it will create this gcc 9.2.0 directory okay and for glibc it will be same you have to remove it Z X V F and the rest of the command is same G D C two point four ten R dot B Z and run this. Okay, uh, I don't have permission because this permission is with root. 
so i'll go directly with root and tell you how to do that so let me jump Let's run that command again. Tar hyphen x v f two point fourteen dot b z. And likewise, the uncompression will be done. Now we will first install glibc. So go inside that folder. First, just create a directory where you are going to configure. So just create mkdir-p and then the directory name. So I am giving config yeah it's created and do ls you can see here configuration is created so we'll go inside that so you'll have to again go into previous directory by this command dot dot slash configure and we'll have to provide where we have to install so installation directory we have to give so i'm uh, installing inside data slash software and the version so i'm giving glib to underscore 14 so remember this name because uh, this directory will be creating after configuration and make me install so first you have to uh, delete all the current library path if you can see here uh, it should it, it it is giving me the error shouldn't contain any directory when building so how to do that just do unset ld library path and done and uh, again you have to throw that command now see there is no error now you have to do make You can also do make hyphen j for faster implementation. I will show that in next video. it's done now uh, now we have to check library so I just do ln it should work 
so this will list uh, our libraries in there so you can see here uh, we have so many libraries but we will require only few so this is the libc.so file which we require for that uh, lib gcc error so we need to export this path you can export it or you can write it inside bash or also Okay, now uh, for this bash rc to work, we need to source. We have source this bash rc and we can see the glibc version working in there. Uh, so I will go to that directory where we are running our software. You can see a glibc error has been gone. So for next error, we'll see uh, the next video. I'm I'll create new video for this error. Please like and subscribe and share.